Mr. Speaker, I rise today with great frustration and must oppose the Public Access and Lands Improvement Act in its current form. This bill is a merger of 10 public lands and natural resource bills, all of which are unrelated to each other, and many of which would ignore the, base, the best available science, compromise the stewardship of our public lands, and completely disregard the bedrock environmental laws that have served to protect our environment and cherished open spaces for decades. That being said, there is one part of the bill that I do support. Buried in Title VI of this bill is the Green Mountain Lookout Heritage Protection Act, which I introduced with Congressman Larson and Senators Murray and Cantwell. Green Mountain Lookout, located in the Glacier Peak Wilderness, was built in 1933 as a Civilian Conservation Corps project to detect fires and spot enemy aircraft during World War II. The Lookout is an important historic and unique part of the Pacific Northwest, and it's a popular destination for hikers and is listed on the National Register for Historic Places. Unfortunately, severe weather caused the Green Mountain Lookout to fall into disrepair in 2001, and the U.S. Forest Service began taking steps to preserve the historic structure for future generations. However, an out-of-state group filed a lawsuit against the Forest Service for using machinery to conduct these repairs, and unfortunately, a U.S. District Court ordered the Forest Service to remove the lookout. My bill would allow critical and routine maintenance while keeping this iconic structure where it's meant to be, in its original home. Local governments in the area, my constituents, as well as a number of environmental and historic preservation groups, support my bill to keep the Green Mountain lookout where it is. And the Natural Resources Committee agrees. They passed this bill unanimously last year, and why wouldn't they? This bill is common sense. It saves us money because it would actually cost more to remove the lookout than to keep it where it is. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that if this bill had been brought up on its own, by its own merits, it would have passed with overwhelming bipartisan support. Unfortunately, that's not what's happening here today. Instead, this bill's gotten wrapped up with a series of very controversial and divisive bills. The Green Mountain Lookout represents a significant piece of the Pacific Northwest's history, and it deserves to be protected for outdoor enthusiasts to enjoy for years to come. It does not deserve to be wrapped up in a package of bills that we all know will be dead on arrival in the Senate. The administration has also voiced its support for the Green Mountain Lookout, keeping it where it is, while strongly opposing the rest of this bill. Green Mountain deserves a vote on its own, and I'm extremely disappointed that my amendment to separate my bill from the rest of this package was denied a chance to be considered today. The way this piece of legislation was handled is emblematic of the dysfunction that's so prevalent and so unnecessary in Congress today. The people of Washington State expect Congress to make progress, and they expect compromise, not partisan exercises that won't make it to the President's desk or achieve a meaningful result. I'm deeply disappointed that that's where this bill is today, and I know that many of my constituents are as well. It's my hope that I'll be able to work with my colleagues from across the aisle to consider the Green Mountain Lookout Heritage Protection Act before it's too late. The need for immediate action is great because if the lookout is moved once, there's no moving it back. It's simple. Taking care of our environment is critical to protecting the quality of life that we cherish. I cannot in good conscience support this overall bill due to the many other harmful measures that are included in this package. I yield back. Gentleman gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Arizona Reserves, the gentleman from Washington is recognized. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman, I'm pleased to yield four minutes to the gentleman from Idaho, Mr. Labrador, who is an author of one of the titles of the bill. The gentleman from Idaho is recognized for four minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise today in support of Title VIII of H.R. 2954, which I originally introduced as H.R. 657, the Gracing Improvement Act. I thank Ch Chairman Hastings for recognizing the importance of this issue and including it in H.R. 2954.